Ezekiel 32, 6, I will also water with thy blood the land wherein thou swimmest, even to the mountains, and the rivers shall be full of thee. November the 27th, 2012. Tourist and local residents have fled the beaches of Australia, trying to come to grips with the waters which turned a shocking blood red, alarmingly causing concern and leaving scientists baffled. The following day a prophecy went forth with the embedded date on youtube.com slash harvest army. November 28, 2012. The sea turning blood in Australia signifies great distress and perplexity determined upon Australia and neighboring countries. There is need for national repentance to hold back God's hand. Luke 21 25, and there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. January 6, 2013. Australia firefighters face threat levels not seen for years, in areas now that haven't seen fire activity for decades. High heat and strong winds persist and scores are coming to grips with the destruction caused by the flames, as fires ravaged through Theta as many thousands have been evacuated, about 100 buildings have been completely destroyed and a hundred people still remain unaccounted for. Residents who narrowly escaped the fire front described darkness as it approached. As the fire came through, what had been a really bright red sky turned absolutely pitch black. It was absolutely horrendous, it was if it was the darkest midnight you've ever seen. CNN reports that other residents describe the destruction left behind as Armageddon. been a summer like no other in the history of Australia, where a sprawling catastrophic heat wave of historical proportions is entering its second week. Monday, January 7, 2013, was the hottest day in Australian history. The Bureau of Meteorology's interactive weather forecasting chart brings Australia its hottest average temperature and new map colours for temps above 122 degrees. January 10, 2013, in the midst of fires burning throughout the land. A tsunami-like dust storm swept over parts of Western Australia. A sinister-looking storm is the result of a thunderstorm, adding dust and sand into the mix. The dust storm apparently developed in minutes and swallowed the entire town of Onslow. Australia's first cyclone of the storm season is also intensifying off the country's northwest and is expected to start affecting coastal areas in mining powerhouse Western Australia state. Cyclone Neryl, now a Category 3 storm with winds of up to a 100 miles per hour, is expected to gather strength and possibly be upgraded to a Category 4 cyclone, without a shadow of a doubt. We see that the November 28, 2012 prophecy of the sea turning into blood in Australia, November 27, 2012, did signify that distress and perplexity was and is determined on Australia, as the prophecy stated.